Hello, good morning. God bless you. And a blessed Thursday to you. You know, last week on Thursday it was my birthday, but I was not able to pray with you, and I, for some reason, want to say the week before it was the same, but I don't remember. So I was so excited to pray with you this morning, and I set up here this icon from Mornings with Mary. See it? I was thinking about the luminous mysteries and how we need to meditate on that light coming from our Lady's heart and Jesus who she holds. But then as I was sitting down, to, after I got this set up, I remembered that Thursdays I usually pray over there in front of my statue of the Eternal High Priest with that icon because we pray for priests on Thursdays. But the Lord inspired me here, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> so it's it's a lot harder than just uh, pushing record. You know, there's a little bit of setup. So we're going to go with this here, and we're going to think about that great light of Christ that we're called to reflect on when we pray the Luminous Mysteries, right? Um. And, of course, we're going to pray for priests. I ask for priests for the two priests we always pray for on Thursdays, but I want to pray for all priests, especially faithful priests that are caught in difficult situations. Sometimes they're just struggling because of the persecution in their country or financial issues, loneliness, things like that. Sometimes they struggle because of the um, hierarchy of the church above them who... Is not always understanding to um, not really shepherds the way they should be. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. We pray for bishops, we pray for cardinals, we pray for those who run the church, right? For those especially who walk that narrow road and suffer persecution for it. We pray for um, a priest, I think he was in New Orleans, who took his own life yesterday or the day before. I forget his name. But we pray for him. We ask um, Jesus to put his mantle around those who um, are sincerely, humbly, striving to um, serve his people. If you look at the apostles, those who followed Jesus and were faithful, um, suffered. John had to stand under the cross with him and witness that and endure it all. And the rest of the apostles all were killed themselves. If you're going to be faithful, then it's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to be misunderstood. You're going to be persecuted. And yet the blood of martyrs is the seed of faith. So my heart goes out to priests today for those who suffer for their faithfulness, for those who um, are looking for wisdom to know what to do in situations, and for those who maybe aren't faithful, who have fallen in sin publicly or privately, or who struggle with pride or power or things, and those who mislead the flock. Unfortunately, in the church, there's always been people who um, also do that. Um, and by teaching something that's not authentic, it doesn't help anybody. You know, even if you're being, you know, you say, oh, I want to be kind to this group of people and approve the way that they live in sin, right? Or I want to persecute these people who try to live what they believe God wants. Um, you're not helping anyone because truth heals. And pats on the back don't necessarily, right? So we want to really pray for priests on this Thursday. Um, that's going to be our main intention. We also pray for Colton. He's a newborn baby I asked you to pray for. He's my cousin's grandson who was born, and he has all sorts of health problems. I haven't gotten my 
hand around exactly what because I'm hearing it like third person. But he has surgery today at two o'clock and they don't think he'll ever be able to speak. We ask the Lord to touch his voice box, to touch his, his breathing, whatever it is in here, and to heal him completely. We pray for his parents. And for his family, we pray for Levi and Liam. And we pray for um, all of our families, right? We pray for those who are sick. My mom is slowly getting better, so thank you. Please continue to pray for her. Um, we pray for um, those who have difficulties in their work. Um, those who are unjustly persecuted, those with court cases. We pray for judges and government leaders, doctors and nurses. Um, we pray for those discerning things, that the Lord give them the wisdom to know what to do and the strength and the courage and the love to do it the way that he wants. And we pray for... Um, the Central American Project for at least another thousand dollars so we can print some books of the holiness of womanhood in Central America and we pray for the work of that book in Pakistan right now it's being used to heal quite a bit of um, quite a number of post-abortive women and I know that the book would really touch the hearts of um, the Russians as well I used it when I worked there just before it was published as a book, right? So I have such a desire that, that, um, that both the holiness of womanhood and out of the darkness get translated into Russia and given to the church there. Um, and we pray for all of the specific intentions of our hearts. God sees and hears them all, what we have written down, what you mention right now. the conversion and healing of so many and we'll pray here oh in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen oh jesus in union with your most precious blood poured out on the cross and offered in every mass i offer you today my prayers works joys sorrows and sufferings for the praise of your holy name and all the desires of your sacred heart in reparation for sin, for the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, for all of the intentions of my heart, and for our final union with you in heaven. Amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you. To show devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day. My eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, Keep me and guard me as a property and possession. Amen. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. That your hand would be with me and you would keep me from evil. That I may not cause pain. I believe in God. Oops, and all of the pa all of the intentions of these pages, right? We have so many people that don't pray with us but put intentions up there. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our, for Pope Francis, for the cardinals and archbishops and bishops, for the priests who work for them, for their spiritual and physical protection, for their intentions, for their conversion, for humility and integrity, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, courage, fortitude, and peace. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen for an increase of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love charity and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. In this mystery, we see Jesus descend into the Jordan to be baptized by St. John the Baptist. In this great act of humility, we see a God who preaches more by his life and example than even by his astounding words. In this mystery, we pray for the gifts of our own baptisms to be stirred into flame so that we can truly live as the children of God that we were created to be. We pray that we can live lives worthy of the Father, saying about us as he did Jesus, this is my beloved son, or this is my beloved daughter, right? May we truly come to grasp our belovedness to God, to live lives that are always responding to this love in full, we also pray for our godchildren and our godparents and for those who have not yet received the gift of baptism, especially for children who have been left spiritually neglected. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second luminous mystery is the wedding at Cana. In this mystery, Our Lady says, they have no wine and do whatever he tells you. In the first line, she is presenting our needs to the Lord. She is saying about our lives too. They have no health. They have no finances. They need conversion. They have no peace. They have no hope. In this mystery, we entrust our prayers to Jesus through the heart and the lips of his mother. And in the second part of the story, we receive not only directions from Our Lady to do whatever he tells you, but her words are efficacious in bringing us strength through their instruction. We see here how the faith of Our Lady can touch and almost change the heart of God. In his response to us, sorry, at first Jesus says, it's not my time. But after looking at her heart, her faith, and listening to her love, the very time of God is changed and great miracles are ushered in. This changing of water to wine would later be the changing of wine into his blood in order to save us in the Eucharist and on the cross. Our Lady did not look at the price her request of Jesus would cost her own heart, for by ushering in his public ministry, she would have to work through suffering and prayer with him. Instead, she looked for the good of her children. In this mystery, we entrust all of our lives, our needs, our concerns and problems to the prayerful intercession of Mary. We ask her to take them to Jesus, and we ask her to pray for us to always know the will of God so that we courageously can do whatever he tells us every day of our lives. The Wedding at Cana. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspot Staboyu, Blagoslavian na timjež dožonami, i Blagoslavian plodšreva tvajevo Isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boža, Malisa nas grešni, nini i v čas smrti naši, amen, Polish. Zdrovaš, Marija, vaski pauna pan s tobom. Bogoslavionaš ti mjenze nevestani i bogoslavioni ova čevota tvajego Jezus. Šventa Marija, Matka Boža, mudlše za nami kšešnimi, teras i v godina i šmirči naši, amen, Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia el Señor es contigo. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. 
Latin, Ave Maria Gratia Plena Dominus Tecum, Benedicta Tuum Mulieribus, et Benedictus Fructus Ventris Tui Jesus, Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, Amen. Russian, Radusia Maria, Blagada Tipolnaya, Gaspot Staboya, Blagoslaviena Timiez de Jonami, I Blagoslavien Plodcereva, Tvajevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa nas Grishni, Nini Ivcha Smirti Nashi Amen. Polish, Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Panstabo, Bogoslavionas Timians and Evastani, I Bogoslavioni Ova Chevota Tvajego Jesus, Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Mudelshiz and Ami Gishnimi, Terra Sivgojina, Ishmirji Nashi Amen. Spanish, Dios de Salve Maria, Yenares de Gracia, El Senor es Contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian, Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donne, I benedet tu el fruto del tuo seno, Jesu. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso nel ora della nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, de benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave Ave Maria. The third um, luminous mystery is the proclamation of the gospel. It's a missionary mystery, right? The proclamation of the kingdom, the preaching of Jesus, the call to repentance, and the healing miracles. In this mystery, we see the essence of the missionary work of Jesus. We meditate on his preaching on his gift of forgiveness of sins, and on the many ways that he healed and delivered both bodies and souls who encountered him. In this mystery, we pray especially for missionaries who bring hope through their words to the brokenhearted, who bring light to those lost in darkness, who speak words that soften hearts hardened in sin, and who inspire with a fire of love and holy zeal all who encounter them. We pray for priests to have the heart of a savior in their interactions with souls, especially in the confessional. We pray for a true knowledge of and repentance for our own sin and for the gift of forgiveness of those who sin against us. We pray for healing for all those who are sick, for those who we love, for those who have no one else to remember them in prayer before the throne of God. We pray for spiritual protection and fruitfulness in all the missionary work and for the Lord to provide for the needs of missionaries everywhere. And we ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, <clears throat> full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration of Jesus on Mount Tabor. In this mystery, we remember the times of great grace that God gives to strengthen us before he lays the cross on our shoulders and within our hearts. In the transfiguration, Peter, James, and John experienced divine awesomeness as they watched Jesus discuss his upcoming passion and death with Moses and Elijah. Even today, God gives great gifts of divine favor to us. Sometimes they're recognized by us and sometimes they're not to strengthen us for the tasks that he also entrusts to our lives. We remember in Thanksgiving the great graces of Our Lady appearing to us over the years to shower us with her motherly love. We especially remember in Fatima where she asks us to pray for the conversion of Russia 
and for the triumph of her immaculate heart, which will come at the cost of many motherly tears. We pray for her intentions and we join our sacrifices and sufferings to this prayer so that she may conform us to Christ. The Transfiguration. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagada Tipolnaya, Gaspod Staboya, Blagoslavienna, Timjez de Jonami, I Blagoslavien Plutchereva, Tvajevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa Nas Grishni, Nini v Čas Mirti Naši Amen, Polish, Strovaš Maria Waski, Pauna Pan Stabo, Bogoslavio Neštim Jenzenevastami, I Bogoslavioni, Ovo Čevota Tvajego Jezus, Šventa Maria, Matka Boža, Murlše za nami kšešnini, teras i v godina i šmirči naši, amen. Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, jena reis de gracia el senores contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, i bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, Ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donne, y benedetto el fruto del tuo seno, Jesu. Santa María, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian, Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboyu, Blagoslavian na Timjez de Jonami, I blagoslavien plučreva tvajevo Isus, svetaja Marija, mater Boža, malisa nas grišni, nini v čas smirti naši, amen, poliš, strovaš Marija u aski pevna pan s tebo, bogoslavio našti mjenze nevastami, i bogoslavio ni ova čevota tvajego Jezus, šventa Marija, matka Boža, murlše za nami kšešnemi, Teras i v godina i šmirči naši, amen, spanish. Dios te salve Maria, jena reis de gracia el Senor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, i bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadori, ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte, amen, Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor es con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tuo seno, Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en el hora de la nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum, Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. 
Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist as a foreshadowing of the cross. In this mystery, we meditate on the greatest gift that Jesus left with us, being his very own body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist. He said, this is my body, this is my blood, which will be shed for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Jesus wants us to remember his passion so that we recognize his love gifted to us in the Eucharistic host. The gift of his heart in this way had a price. It cost him everything offered back to the Father. In this mystery, let us pray for a healing of indifference in the world and even in the church to Jesus' presence in the Eucharist. Let us pray for a greater love, reverence, and devotion to his Eucharistic heart and blood. Let us pray that as we receive him into our own bodies and hearts to be a tabernacle of his presence in the world, that we may be conformed into an image of him in the world. Let us pray that Eucharistic adoration may be central in our lives and in each parish, at each shrine, in each house of prayer, and in each city of the world. May the Eucharist be our lamp, our blanket, our medicine, and the source and summit of our love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain all that they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all of my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you, and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name. Kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from you. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, for our families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. And today we're going to pray Pope Leo's long form of the St. Michael prayer. And we pray this for the church. O glorious Prince of the heavenly host, St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in the battle and in the terrible warfare that we're waging against the principalities and powers against rulers of this world of darkness and against evil spirits. Come to the aid of man, whom Almighty God created immortal, made in his own image and likeness, and redeemed at a great price 
from the tyranny of Satan. Fight this day the battle of the Lord, together with the holy angels, as already thou hast fought the leader of the proud angels, Lucifer and his apostate host, who were powerless to resist thee, nor was there place for them any longer in heaven. That cruel ancient serpent, who is called the devil or Satan, who seduces the whole world, was cast into the abyss with his angels. Behold, this primeval enemy and slayer of men has taken courage. Transformed into an angel of light, he wanders about with all of the multitude of wicked spirits, invading the earth in order to blot out the name of God and of his Christ to cease upon slay, cast into eternal perdition, souls destined for the crown of eternal glory. This wicked dragon pours out as a most impure flood the venom of his malice on men of depraved mind and corrupt heart, the spirit of lying, impiety, blasphemy, the pestilent breath of vanity, pride, and impurity, and of every vice and iniquity. These most crafty enemies have filled and inebriated with gall and bitterness the church, the spouse of the Immaculate Lamb, and they have laid impious hands on her most sacred possessions. In the holy place itself, where the sea of holy Peter and the chair of truth has been set up as a light of the world, they have raised the throne of their abominable impiety and with the iniquitous design that when the pastor has been struck, the sheep may be scattered. Arise then, O invincible prince, bring help against the attacks of the lost spirits to the people of God and give them the victory. They venerate thee as their protector and patron. In thee, holy church glories as her defense against the malicious powers of hell. To thee has God entrusted the souls of men to be established in heavenly beatitude. Pray to the God of peace that he may put Satan under our feet so far conquered that he may no longer be able to hold men in captivity or harm the church. Offer our prayers in the sight of the Most High so that they may quickly find mercy in the sight of the Lord and vanquishing the dragon, that ancient serpent who is the devil and Satan. Do thou again make him captive in the abyss that he may no longer seduce the nations. Amen. Behold the cross of the Lord. Be scattered, ye hostile powers. For the lion of the tribe of Judah has conquered the root of David. Let thy mercies be on us, O Lord, as we have hoped in thee. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come unto thee. Let us pray. O God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we call upon thy holy name. As supplicants, we implore thy clemency, that by the intercession of Mary, the ever-Virgin Immaculate, and our Mother, and of the glorious St. Michael the Archangel, thou wouldst deign to help us against Satan and all the other unclean spirits who wander about the world for the injury of the human race and the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, Ever the stay, be at our sides, to light and guard, to rule, to protect, to defend, to enlighten, and to guide. Amen. We pray for the souls that have died. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world, for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home and within our own family, amen. And we pray St. Patrick's breastplate prayer. He wrote this in 433 and he prayed it before he went to convert all of the pagans. So we pray it because we live in a pagan world, right? I arise today through a mighty oneness of the creator of Christ today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, 
through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, in the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs and predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles in the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins in the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the seed of speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me and God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets, against black laws of pagandom, against false laws of heretics, against the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, saintness, and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ has shield me today against poison, against burning, against choking and suffocating, against destruction and accidents, against pestilence, infestation and plague, against drowning and wounding, against sickness and calumny, against jealousy, competition, blocking, division, against misunderstanding, rash or false judgment, against vanity, selfishness and pride, against anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, against denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness, and against every evil that could come against me, so that there may come to me instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left. Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me, and Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. And on Thursdays, we pray extra special prayers at the end for priests and in honor of the Blessed Sacrament. First, we have St. Therese of Lisieux's prayer for priests. O oh Jesus, I pray for your faithful and fervent priests, for your unfaithful and tepid priests, for your priests laboring at home or abroad in distant mission fields for your tempted priests, for your lonely and desolate priests, for your persecuted priests, for our, your young priests and your dying priests, and for the souls of your priests in purgatory. But above all, I recommend to you the priests dearest to me, the priest who baptized me, the priests who absolved me from my sins, the priests at whose masses I assisted and who gave me your body and blood in Holy Communion, the priests who taught and instructed me, those who are in my family, those who I am friends with, and those who the Lord has entrusted to my prayer in a special way. All the priests to whom I'm indebted in any other way, especially, and you can name here the priests that you want to pray for. Oh Jesus, keep them all close to your heart. Bless them abundantly in time and in eternity. Amen. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may touch them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, daily purpled with your precious blood. 
keep pure and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of the priesthood. Let your holy love surround them, shield them from the world's contagion, bless their labors with abundant fruit, and may the souls to whom they minister be their joy and consolation, here and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. Amen. St. John Vianney's Prayer for Priests. God, please give your church today many more priests after your own heart. May they be worthy representatives of Christ the Good Shepherd. May they wholeheartedly devote themselves to prayer and penance, be examples of humility, poverty, purity, be shining models of holiness, tireless and powerful preachers of the word of God, zealous dispensers of your grace and mercy in the sacraments. May their loving devotion to your son Jesus in the Eucharist and to Mary his mother be the twin fountains of fruitfulness for their ministry. And we pray St. Pope John Paul II's prayer for priests to Our Lady. Mother of Jesus Christ and Mother of Priests, accept this title which we bestow on you to celebrate your motherhood and to contemplate with you the priesthood of your son and of your sons, O Holy Mother of God. Mother of Christ, to the Messiah priest you gave a body of flesh through the anointing of the Holy Spirit for the salvation of the poor and the contrite of heart. Guard priests in your church and guard priests in your heart and in the church, O Mother of the Savior. Mother of Faith, you accompanied to the temple, the Son of Man, the fulfillment of the promises given to the fathers. Give to the Father for his glory, the priests of your Son, O Ark of the Covenant. Mother of the Church, with the disciples in the upper room, you prayed to the Spirit for the new people and their shepherds, obtain for the order of presbyters a fullness of gifts, O Queen of the Apostles. Mother of Jesus Christ, you were with him at the beginning of his life and of his mission. You sought the Master among the crowd. You stood beside him when he was lifted up from the earth, consumed as the one eternal sacrifice, and you had John close by you, your son. Accept from the beginning those who have been called. Protect their growth. Accompany your sons in their life and in their ministry, O Mother of Priests. We have Mother Teresa of Calcutta's prayer for priests. Mary, Mother of Jesus, throw your mantle of purity over our priests. Protect them, guide them, and keep them in your heart. Be a mother to them, especially in times of discouragement and loneliness. Love them and keep them belonging completely to Jesus. Like Jesus, they too are your sons. So keep their hearts pure and virginal. Keep their minds filled with Jesus and put Jesus always on their lips so that he is the only one they offer to sinners and to all that they meet. Mary, mother of Jesus, be their mother, loving them and bringing them joy. Take special care of sick and dying priests and the ones most tempted. Remember how they spent their youth and old age, their entire lives serving and giving all to Jesus. Mary, bless them and keep a special place for them in your heart. Give them a piece of your heart, so beautiful and pure and immaculate, so full of love and humility, so that they too can grow in the likeness of Christ. Dear Mary, make them humble like you and holy like Jesus. Father Benedict Grishel's Prayer for Priests. Lord Jesus Christ, eternal high priest, you offered yourself to the Father on the altar of the cross, and through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, you gave your priestly people a share in your redeeming sacrifice. Hear our prayer for the sanctification of our priests. Grant that all who are ordained to the ministerial priesthood may be ever more conformed to you, the divine master. May they preach the gospel with a pure heart and clear conscience. 
Let them be shepherds according to your own heart, single-minded in the service to you and to the church, shining examples of a holy, simple, and joyful life. Through the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, your mother and ours, draw all priests and the flocks entrusted to their care to the fullness of eternal life, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And St. Faustina's Prayer for Priests. Heavenly Father, grant that our priests be strengthened and healed by the power of the Eucharist they celebrate. May the word they proclaim give them courage and wisdom. We pray that all those whom they seek to serve may see in them the love and the care of Jesus, our eternal High Priest, who is Lord forever and ever. Mary, Mother of the Church, look tenderly upon your sons, our priests, and St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church, pray for us all. O oh, my Jesus, I beg you on behalf of the whole Church, grant it love and the light of your Spirit. Give power to the words of priests so that hardened hearts might be brought to repentance and return to you, O Lord. Lord, give us holy priests. You yourself maintain them in holiness. O divine and great high priest, may the power of your mercy accompany them everywhere and protect them from the devil's snares which are continually being set for the souls of priests. May the power of your mercy, Lord, shatter and bring to naught all that might tarnish the sanctity of priests, for you can do all things. And we pray a prayer for one priest and the litany that goes with it. O oh Jesus, eternal high priest, live in, and you can name the priest that you're praying for. Act in them, speak in and through them. Think your thoughts in their minds, love through their hearts, give them your own dispositions and feelings, teach, lead, and guide them always, correct, enlighten, and expand their thoughts and behavior, enable them to give themselves entirely to you, possess their souls, take over their entire personalities and lives, replace them with yourself, incline these priests to constant adoration and thanksgiving, Pray in and through them. Let them live in you and keep them in this intimate union always. O oh Mary, Immaculate Conception, Mother of Jesus and Mother of Priests, pray and intercede for these priests who are, we are praying for now. Let us pray for the Holy Father. Fill him with courage, grace, truth, and light, Lord. For the cardinals, archbishops, and bishops, Give them integrity, humility, courage, and a shepherd's heart. We pray for diocesan priests. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. And for priests and religious orders, perfect them in their calling. For priests who are ill, heal them, Lord. Priests who are in danger, deliver them, Lord. Priests who are weak, strengthen them, Lord. Priests who are poor, Relieve them, Lord. Priests who have lost their zeal, renew them, Lord. Priests who are sad, console them, Lord. Priests who are worried, give them peace, Lord. Priests who are old, sustain them, Lord. Priests who are alone, accompany them, Lord. Missionary priests, protect them, Lord. Priests who are preachers, enlighten them, Lord. Priests who direct souls, instruct them, Lord. Priests and religious who have died, bring them to glory, Lord. For all priests, give them your wisdom and knowledge, understanding and counsel. For all priests, give them reverence and awe of you, patience and love, obedience, meekness and kindness. For all priests, give them a burning zeal for souls, and the virtues of faith, hope, and love. For all priests, give them an intense love for the Eucharist and loyalty to the teachings of the Church, the Holy Father, and their bishops. For all priests, give them respect for life and human dignity. Give them integrity, justice, and mercy. 
For all priests give them humility, meekness, and generosity. For all priests give them gentleness with souls and strength in their labors, peace in their sufferings. For all priests give them a great love for the Trinity and a great love for Mary, Joseph, the angels and saints. For all priests, let them be the light of Christ, the salt of the earth, for all priests, let them practice sacrifice and self-denial. Let them be holy in body, mind, intention, and spirit. And let them be men of prayer. For all priests, may faith shine forth in them. May they be concerned for our salvation. May they be faithful to their priestly vocation. For all priests, may their hands know only how to bless and heal. May they burn with love for you. May all their steps be for the glory of God, and may the Holy Spirit fill them and give them his gifts in abundance. Let us pray, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, hear the prayers that we're offering for our priests. Let them know clearly the work that you are calling them to do. Grant them every grace to answer your call with courage, love, and lasting dedication to your will. We ask Mary's intercession as their loving mother. Amen. And we pray the consecration to the precious blood of priests and those destined to the priesthood. My beloved Jesus, by the precious blood that you shed on the day of circumcision, deign to watch over from the infancy and early education of the children whom you have destined to minister at the altar, that they may be preserved spotless until consecrated to you by the holy unction. Bless the families that honor your precious blood and spread this devotion by choosing from them a large number of vocations to the priesthood and by maintaining their fervor until the close of their lives. Our Lady of the Precious Blood, watch over these loving, living chalices of the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, by the precious blood which you shed in the Garden of Olives, take pity on all aspirants to the priesthood, who through the temptations of the evil one or dread of the responsibilities of their sacred ministry are in danger of losing their vocation. Impart to these tortured souls sufficient courage to make the sacrifices by which the Eucharistic chalice must be purchased. And in return for their generosity, Inebriate them, inebriate them deliciously at the altar with the blood which in heaven will be their eternal source of delight. Our Lady of the Precious Blood, watch over the living chalices of the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, by the precious blood shed in your painful scourging, shield with your own especial protection and that of your Immaculate Mother, all the ministers of the sanctuary, so that having renounced the goods of earth in order to belong entirely to you, they may every day offer and receive your body and blood with such pious dispositions as to enable you to find in their hearts a paradise of delight. Our Lady of the Precious Blood, watch over the living chalices of the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, by the precious blood which you shed in your crowning with thorns, we beseech you to maintain our clergy in such filial submission to the Holy See and its representatives as will forever secure for them the veneration, confidence, and docility of the faithful children of the Holy Church. Our Lady of the Precious Blood, watch over the living chalices of the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, by thy precious blood, shed on the way to Calvary, take pity on priests who are victims of injustice and who, like their adorable model, receive in return for their devotedness crosses, trials, and persecutions. Our Lady of the Precious Blood, watch over the living chalices of the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, by the blood of thy crucifixion, inflame with ever-increasing zeal the dispensers of thy blood. Grant that thirsting like thee for souls, they may continue the work of thy bloody passion, increasing its efficacy by applying its merits. 
succor most of all the poor missionaries who after watering with their sweat and tears the soil in which they have sown the divine seed may still be called upon to dye with their blood the land upon which they planted the cross. Our Lady of the Precious Blood, watch over the living chalices of the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, through the blood and water shed by thee after death, take special pity, we beseech thee, on those among thy ministers who will soon be mown down by death. If through human frailty they have become the debtors of your justice, grant that this very day that an ineffably precious blood may discharge their obligations. Our Lady of the Precious Blood, watch over the living chalices of the blood of Jesus. Prayer for priests. Keep them, I pray thee, dearest Lord. Keep them, for they are thine. Thy priests who lives burn out before thy consecrated shrine. Keep them, for they are in the world, though from the world apart. When earthly pleasures tempt allure, shelter them in your heart. Keep them and comfort them in hours of loneliness and pain. When all their lives of sacrifice for souls seems but in vain. Keep them and oh, remember, Lord, they have no one but thee. Yet they have only human hearts with human frailty. Keep them as spotless as the host that daily they caress. Their every thought and word and deed, deign, dearest Lord, to bless. And we pray St. Vincent Pilate's prayer to the Blessed Sacrament. Jesus in the Eucharist, our God and King, pray for us. Jesus in the Eucharist, our Creator and Redeemer, pray for us. Jesus in the Eucharist, our Physician and Medicine, pray for us. Jesus in the Eucharist, our food and our grace, pray for us. Jesus in the Eucharist, our greatest good and happiness, pray for us. <clears throat> Jesus in the Eucharist, infinitely loving and worthy of love, pray for us. Jesus in the Eucharist, you are the greatest and most holy of our mysteries, pray for us. And the Litany of the Most Blessed Sacrament by St. Peter Julian Emiard. Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy, Lord of mercy. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal high priest of the Eucharistic sacrifice, have mercy on us. Jesus, divine victim on the altar of our salvation, have mercy on us. Jesus, hidden under the appearance of bread, have mercy on us. Jesus, dwelling in the tabernacles of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, really, truly, and substantially present in the blessed sacrament, have mercy on us. Jesus, abiding in your fullness, body, blood, soul, and divinity, have mercy on us. Jesus, bread of life, have mercy on us. Jesus, bread of angels, have mercy on us. Jesus, with us always until the end of the world, have mercy on us. Sacred host, summit and source of all worship in Christian life, have mercy on us. Sacred host, sign and cause of the unity of the church, have mercy on us. Sacred host, adored by countless angels, have mercy on us. Sacred host, spiritual food, have mercy on us. Sacred host, sacrament of love, have mercy on us. Sacred host, bond of charity, have mercy on us. Sacred host, greatest aid to holiness, have mercy on us. Sacred host, gift and glory of the priesthood, have mercy on us. Sacred host, in which we partake of Christ, have mercy on us. Sacred host, in which the, souls is in which the soul is filled with grace, have mercy on us. Sacred host, in which we are given a pledge of future glory, have mercy on us. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. For those who do not believe in your Eucharistic presence, have mercy on them, O Lord. 
for those who are indifferent to the sacrament of your love. Have mercy on them, O Lord. For those who have offended you in the holy sacrament of the altar, have mercy on them, O Lord. That we may show fitting reverence when entering your holy temple, we beseech you, Lord, hear us. That we may make suitable preparation before approaching the altar, we beseech you, Lord, hear us. That we may receive you frequently in holy communion, with real devotion and true humility, we beseech you, Lord, hear us, that we may never neglect to thank you for so wonderful a blessing, we beseech you, Lord, hear us, that we may cherish time spent in silent prayer before you, we beseech you, Lord, hear us, that we may grow in knowledge of this sacrament of sacraments, we beseech you, Lord, hear us, that all priests may have a profound love of the Holy Eucharist, we beseech you, Lord, hear us, that they may celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass in accordance with its sublime dignity. We beseech you, Lord, hear us, that we may be comforted and sanctified with holy viaticum at the hour of our death. We beseech you, Lord, hear us, that we may see you one day face to face in heaven. We beseech you, Lord, hear us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Most merciful Father, you continue to draw us to yourself through the Eucharistic mystery. Grant us fervent faith in the sacrament of love in which Christ the Lord himself is contained offered and received. We make this prayer through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And at the end on Thursdays, we pray Padre Pio's prayer after communion, asking Jesus and the Eucharist to stay with us all day. Stay with me, Lord, for without thy presence I forget thee. Thou knowest how easily I abandon thee. Stay with me, Lord, for without thy strength I fall. Thou knowest how weak I am. Stay with me, Lord, for without thee my fervor fails. Thou art my life. Stay with me, Lord, for without thee I am in darkness. Thou art my light. Stay with me, Lord, and show me thy will. Stay with me, Lord, and let me hear thy voice. Stay with me, Lord, that I may follow thee. Stay with me, Lord, that I may love thee more. Stay with me, Lord, that I may stay with thee. If thou would have me be faithful, stay with me, Lord. Stay with me, Jesus, for though my soul is poor, it desires to be an abode of love for thee and a place of consolation. Stay with me, Jesus, for it's getting late. The day is ending, life is passing, death, judgment, and eternity are coming soon. Now I must muster all of my forces so that I do not faint on the road. I have great need for thee on this journey. It's getting late and death is approaching. Darkness, temptations, dryness, crosses, and troubles beset me. And oh, how much I need thee, my good Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me, Jesus, because this night of life is so full of dangers, and I have such a need of thee. Grant that, like thy disciples, I may recognize thee in the breaking of the bread. Grant that the Eucharistic union may be the light which casts out darkness, the force to sustain me and the one means to sanctify my soul. Stay with me, Lord, because when death arrives, if I cannot be really with thee in holy communion, then I wish to remain united with thee at least through grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask thee for divine consolation because I deserve it, but I beg of thee with all of my strength for the gift of thy most holy presence. Stay with me, Lord, thee alone I seek. Thy love, thy grace, thy will, thy heart, thy spirit. For I love thee, thee alone I love. Let me seek no other reward but the increase of that love, that my love may be real and firm and practical. I ask no more than to love thee with all of my heart on earth and to follow thee with an all-perfected love for all eternity. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. 
Today is St. Sebastian's feast day and I have his relic. So we ask St. Sebastian, pray for us. St. Fabian, pray for us. St. Xenia, pray for us. Padre Pio, pray for us. St. Cajetan, pray for us. St. Zita, pray for us. St. Miriam, pray for us. St. Gemma, pray for us. All of you holy angels and martyrs and saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for praying all of those long prayers with me, but I think it's important on Thursdays to really pray, spend that extra half hour praying for priests. Um, they need our prayers so badly. So if you want more suggestions on good ways to pray for priests, I have that book, In Our Lady's Shadow, The Spirituality of Praying for Priests, and you can find it on Amazon. And um, it can help you in your prayer for them, especially on Thursdays. God bless you. Please pray for me and know that I'm praying for you.